Leave me out the comments, leave me out the nonsense Speaking out of context, people need some content Niggas trying to keep up, shit is not a contest Whipping best concept, heaven said, God said This is what my mom says, proof is in the progress Money's not an object, busy than a motherfucker You know how my job get, barking up the wrong tree You know how the dogs get, haven't fallen off <laughs> Hi. Am I naked? No, I'm not. I've literally got I don't really strings right because my shoulders are so fat. You can't see the damn strings at the top. Anyway, it's my birthday. I'm 25. <laughs> no, stop it, please. I don't want to be 25. I'm half of 50 years old. Oh, it's nasty. I've got a nasty taste in my mouth because I'm 25. You know what I mean? Anyway, it's my birthday. So I've woke up in Gambia. Um, let's bring you a little bit closer so you can see the views. Don't be rude. Can you see through there? Or should I just open the bus, isn't it? There we go. The sun, I'm just turn around. The sun is rising over there and yeah, it's a good day for me. I woke up, I'm feeling good. Let me sit down, let me just sit down for a sec. The sun's rising, it's right there in my eyes. But we'll get a good lighting for you, you know what I mean? So yeah, today is December 11th and we've still got like 10 more days of this holiday to go. We've got so long, or maybe even nine, I don't know now. But yeah, it's my birthday. How many times I'm gonna say it? I'm half of 50 years old, so I don't know how to feel. Slightly ill. Like I said, I've got a nice taste in my mouth just because I'm thinking, right, time's getting on now. Probably time to act like an adult. I'm still at home rent free. What is life? Yeah, plan for today. I'm gonna wash my hair. You know, I wash it every day here just because the water's soft. And I, don't, I didn't bring my diffuser, so my hair shrinks so much. So yeah, I'm going to wash it and let it air dry. And then that's really it, to be honest, like with my hair. I'm not, I don't do makeup in the day. What's the point? I just put a bit of Factor 50, which I've been wearing this whole holiday. And I haven't burnt once. And the sun's been hotter than March. I do have a tan, but for some reason, like the camera just never picks it up. I just look paler and paler. I brush my eyebrows. This, I might just cut that off, you know, because that dumb hair it always sticks underneath. Anyway, so today I'm going to wash my hair. We're going to go for breakfast. I bought a mug. Let me show you. Because I was, I got my friend to take me out yesterday. I said, Listen, come pick me up in it. I've got a couple of bridges in Gambia. I said, come pick me up. Okay, I didn't say come pick me up because it's literally here, but I said, come pick me up. I need to go shopping. You know what I mean? When I bought some bits in the shop in it, so first thing I bought, this mug. Because I'm sick and tired of the hotel's little mini miniature mugs, you know, this big. I have like four in the morning to have like one decent cup of tea because like one mug is like a quarter of a cup. And I was like, nah, I ain't got time for this. So I went and bought a mug. 75 dollars What's that? That pound. So I was like, right, let me grab one of those. We also got a fan just for the other room because them not just air conditioning. It worked, but when you, as you get older, you know, it makes your chest tight apparently. So they've only got a fan. And then I just got one of the thing that I need to get as well. There's these guys on the beach that I worked out with yesterday and they're there again. It's like, meet me in the morning. I was hurt my birthday, I'm working up for nobody. So I'm hiding in my room. But anyway, that is what I brought from the shops. We just went quickly. It's called Westfield. It's like a big strip of like loads of different shops in there. My phone's ringing, but... <sighs> I'm not in the mood of talking it yet because I need to process it on 25 first, you know what I mean? So anyway, I'm going to wash my hair and I thought I would show you. I really want to film like a hair washing routine, but this bathroom just not doing justice. It looks like a primary school bathroom. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to do a hair routine in here. This is what I use because everyone asks what I'm using. Gosh. So, to get the good curls, I first go in, in fact, let me not even cap. I first go in with this. It's a steroid shampoo. Looks like that. If you have bad scalp, fix scalp. Go and buy this, it's called Etrovex. Screenshot if you like. Anyway, moving on. I then go in with this olive oil shampoo. Sorry if it's echoey. Let me talk a bit quieter and a bit more ladylike, you know? <laughs> I use this olive oil shampoo and it's only because it cleanses and detangles. Now, detangle my back foot, right? Because it doesn't detangle nothing. So if it makes it worse, moving on. It's good for, you know, cleanse the scalp. Those two really dry my brass cut hair. I then go in with this. Screenshot, if you will. So it's Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Shampoo, Manuka Honey, and Mafura Oil, right? And then I don't condition with normal conditioner, I just use the mask. Very good for moisturizing, love that. And then curls, I've got seven of these at home, because um, they were really good. I use them this summer and it helps your hair not be puffy. It helps it, like the curls really stay moisturized, but also stay like uh, defined without it being crunchy. So the soft and free coconut Jamaican black castor oil curling cream, all of that. Malamia, I'm using the curling jelly white as I am. I fucking love it. I love this stuff. I really do. This, I've got about 10 of these at home. Very, very good. And I always wait. I always wait. Let me get out of the shower because it's very echoey. Anyway, I always wait for those to go on sale and look fantastic. Sometimes they're like £6. I'm not paying £12 for a small little tub. Because first of all, yeah, I used to get them. I think it was look fantastic. No. What's the other one? It turned to Sephora. I don't know. It's one of them in it, but I used to get the big tub for £9 something, in it? And obviously then they realised that they made a like error with the price. I and mean, I literally bought like 10 of them. I went to buy it the next time and it was like unclickable. So then I messaged them. I was like, yo, like, well, I've gone for this, innit? They were like, oh no, like, it's actually like 20 pounds. Like, obviously that the price was wrong in it. And I was like, right, so I done. So now I've got to use a small tub, which is jarring. I'm not paying 20 pounds for a big tub, don't be rude, but I was getting it. I was getting the big tub for the, for the price of the small tub, even less of the situation. Should I do a baby hair today or two? Maybe I should do a little one, two baby hair for my birthday, you know what I mean? Maybe I, maybe I should just go out the boat a little bit. I don't know, but I just like to be just plain and simple. When I'm in Gambia, I like to be plain and simple. I like to just, you know, 
I want to be natty. So natural hair, no makeup. Yeah. Obviously I've got the lash extensions on. That's always gonna be a thing. In the UK, out of the UK, it's always gonna be a, it's always gonna be a thing. But the natural, look at them. Obviously, like I said, I'm going to Tamala where we went before. It's gonna be 32 degrees today. Um it's been about 30, between 30 and 32 every day. On the property, it was about 38. I like, literally I wiped my sweat, yeah. One second later, sweat wiped it again. Pure sweat. I was like, right. I mean, I'm in a good mood today. Usually my birthday, I'm just a bit like, okay, you know what I mean? But I'm 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 in paradise. How could I be angry? How could I be upset? Day could not go wrong. Let's grab a water out fridge. I've got some best waters because these are, you know, the best. I like these ones because they're sealed, you see. So I always get these. I've got my friends to go and pick them up from the shop for me. So, you know, they brought those around and I'm forever grateful. Here's a fan that I bought from Moira because, you know, when we get to the festival season next year, this is perfect. And I also have mine here. I've got a brown one. And I attach it to the bag because it kind of broke. So I just attach it to my little keyring thing that sticks onto my bag. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm gonna go do my shower routine and I'll catch you guys probably at breakfast. Okay, so I did say I'll see you at um, breakfast, but I just thought I'd come on here quickly and just show you my hair. The time I'm doing like a haul, I'm either, sometimes I have my curly hair out. Sometimes I'm wearing a ponytail. Sometimes I'm wearing a long weave, like clippings all the time. Time. So I just thought that now you can actually see I've been having like I had like three big chops Okay, not three big chops, but I had a I've had my hair literally from down here cut to here But as in like all the dead ends curl cuts and my hair is back to normal now Like it's so healthy. My hair is thriving So I just thought that I would show you after it come out the shower what it looks like now Usually I would like diffuse so it keeps the length. Let me just show you the length. There you go You can see it now. It's in the front. Yeah, usually I would like diffuse my hair but Obviously I didn't bring that with me because I can't bring a diffuser when I had 30 kg of luggage and my luggage was 29.8 kg don't be rude I have got layers in it as well if you can really tell but yeah this is just with the as I am curling jelly um, this is what it's looking like and I just thought I'd show you now because it's gonna get big and it's gonna get huge and then I'm probably gonna put it half up half down so I'm gonna get too hot before I even go out so yeah I mean by the time I step out I mean it'll be drying like an hour so um, I'll see you at breakfast okay so I'm at breakfast like I said to you listen I don't business right so I went and got my own mug this is my mug right let me show you in comparison what they want to try and give me in the morning like say i'm not gonna want 10 cups of tea do you see what i mean so i've got my own blast of mug in it i'm in business anyway i've got an omelet um the lovely lady makes me a nice omelet every morning so yeah i mean we're going tomorrow probably like half 12 so we don't need to eat too much it's like quarter to 10 now good morning oh <laughs> mum put a balloon on the table and when i get back to the room i'll show you she put a banner on my door but yeah we're gonna eat drink be merry marshall has a blender in the room so he blends breakfast so he's not at breakfast but yeah, I'm gas with the. I'm actually gas with this mug, you know. You got better drinking this, you know. Cheers. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat this now, and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So I'm just walking out of the hotel because we're going to we're going to exchange more money. I feel like we exchange money every day, but we don't. We just need more money today because obviously we're going to Tamala. Because obviously we're not at that hotel, we have to pay for the brunch. So that's what we're doing today. I just wanted to show you quickly. I don't know if I actually showed you this already. I think I did. I didn't show you the actual market side, so I wanted to show you the market. It's all set up and everything. So I want to show you that. So these are some of the cars. Everyone's got a mark. Hello. Anyways, this is the market. I got a hat from, I think it was this one, but it's not set up at the moment. But I did get a hat from there the other day. Um, which was nice. So yeah. Hello. <laughs> I'm good, how are you? <laughs> Hello, are you okay? So this is where we exchange money. Hello, thank you. How are you today? Fine, so we're going to exchange the money just over here, the one with the blue writing. I'm just going to walk up quickly and have a quick look. So this is apparently, this is apparently like the other hotel to the other hotel. So apparently you can use both. So we're going to have a quick look at what this looks like. It's the exact same sign, which is called something different. Yeah. So this is the sister hotel. And it's nice, it's very jungly. Ooh, I like, I really like. And you can come and use this hotel as well. I would say it's like a lot smaller than the other one. Yeah, it's nice. I'm gonna put my hair up in a minute because it's starting to get that, that big feeling here and the flat feeling at the top and I hate that. But yeah, I'm gonna put my hair up in a minute. Once it's dry, it can go up in it, but this is what happens. It's looking a bit crazy. But yeah, you can see here, it looks very, very nice. What a way to spend your birthday. And they're not talking about staying for another week. Happy 
Okay, so we're at Tamala. Obviously, you know, guys. Hi. You guys have seen this before because I've been here before. So it's nothing really new. But this is um, where we came in March. How are you? So. Are you here for the yeah. brunch? Yeah. Hi guys, it's the next day now. Um, my battery completely died and my camera like overheated yesterday. Really annoying. Um, so I didn't finish my birthday, but we was at Tamala and then we literally went back to the hotel, had dinner and then chilled and I went to sleep early. Um, this morning. I did um, a workout, I'll leave it here, I went for a guy on the beach, which was really good. And then just showered, went to breakfast, and now I'm in a taxi and I'm on my way to go set up a bank account. So yeah, that's the plan for today. I don't know how long it's going to take. I've got my like national insurance number, what it would be in the UK, like a national insurance number. So yeah, I've got that. I'm ready to add my bank account, so obviously we've only got like a week left, so yeah. Not good. Say hi, mum. Hello. How you morning, feeling? Morning, everybody. How you feeling? I'm feeling really good. Tax is hot, isn't it? Yeah, it's warm. It's really warm today. Mm -hmm. Mum's coming up. She want to get bit. So I'm with the rest around my legs. Every time we get in the car, I get bites. Okay, so I'm at lunch. I've got some cucumber, some tandoori chicken, and some calamari and vegetables. And they've bought over a cake from yesterday. It's my birthday. It's really, really cute. Thanks, mum. Welcome. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh my god, it's been a couple of days because not much has happened. Like my mum and her partner have been like going to um, a place called Brakama, which is like really far from where we're staying. I mean, it's taken the whole day. So every day I've been in the hotel on my own, like chilling. Um, I went to a different beach, went to uh, the beach at Tamala as well, where we went Sunday and saw some of my friends there. Oh, I've got a puppy. Okay, guys, <laughs> too many things have happened. I need to fill you in. Let's sit you down and let's talk. Let's talk about the big thing first, and um, which is the puppy. So, yeah, I brought a puppy. Um, I'm going to insert some clips here um, next to me. Basically, there was some puppies. I saw them about five days ago on the side of the road in the cage, and I was like, no. This can't run. Three days ago now, I went and brought one to give her like a better life because I don't know where these puppies are gonna go. Obviously, I couldn't get every single one of these puppies, but at least saving one life or, you know, helping one pup was better than none. Yeah, I brought a puppy and she's the most cutest thing in the world. I've named her Drizzy because obviously I've got a cat called Breezy, Chris Brown, and I've got a dog called Drizzy Drake. That'd be rude. So I spelled it D-R-I-Z-I, -I, so it's like a bit cooler in it. That way. Anyway, um, she's the best dog ever. I took her straight to the vets after I took her out of the cage. She had a vaccine um, and she got checked over and wormed and everything like that, deworming tablets, everything like that she's had. Um, so yeah, that, that's that in it. Like she's obviously not coming back to England with me um, only because A, she's only like six weeks old and B, she's young. Come in. So it's mom's birthday, how hey. old are you? How old are you? Come up with that. 56 today. Oh, how does it feel? Same as it does when you're 18, 35, 27. Right. So what are we doing today? We're going to Senegambia and I am going to be treated to some new silk jewellery. I just love silver. We'll show you when we get back. Is that it? Do you want to come back and get your nails done? Come back and get my nails done. I've got to go to Combo Beach and pick up something. Oh, I'm going to use Sehu too but as our driver today because he lives here in Bacau. He's near, he should be nearby if he works after today. I should imagine he does because I reckon Saturdays has got to be one of their busy days. And then that we have to walk. No! <laughs> <laughs> it's uphill all the way. Yeah, but now. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Oh, wait, my outfit, my outfit. Oh, I'm the outfit today. It's in the layers. I've layered up today. I have my skirt on. From? Zara. I mean, the issue is it has no pockets. My top was one pound from Prime Money. But I'll do this kind of business with it. Yeah, very nice. Back is from Primark. I've only got that on because I put my cash in there. It's easier. And then when I get really hot, I've got this on underneath. Fabulous. See my tan, see my tan. Careful now. <laughs> Top is Shein, skirt is pretty little thing. Bag is Radley and my shoes are off-white. So yes, you wouldn't believe what sins. I got sins on my mind and some pills. Got a lot of ills on my mind and my friends. Yeah, I keep my friends on my mind. I'm in love. I'm in love with two girls and one team and they tears. That's 
into the craft market, this is what they look like. Yeah, we've been in Borgo Silver now. We're going back to the hotel, and Mum might get her nails done. She might go to the spa. I'm not sure too sure yet, to be honest. We just um, we just at lunch at the hotel, and literally I had um, chicken and stuff, and the chicken was literally like Nando's lemon and herb chicken. Like, I was like, what the hell? I thought go back and get more, but I'll just be bloating at the seat. Was it burst burst at the seat until I go back? What did you have, Mum? Spinach, spinach, spinach with onions and garlic. Delicious, absolutely delicious. I'm going to go to the salon and book to have my fingernails done. I had my feet done last week, so I'm going to get my nails done now. Um, go in the ocean. Um, yeah, bathe the mosquito bites of salt water for real. And that's really it. I don't think. Obviously, tonight we're going to come for dinner. I need to go find some credits from somewhere as well. So, yeah, that's a black thing. Say it's a 